what's going on guys uh i've wanted to try to raise the seahorse fry for a little while now and finally got my little setup done i bought a shelf from uh, big lots put it together a couple of gallon jars uh, with spouts from walmart and an old 10 gallon tank uh, the top left jar i've got some brine shrimp the top right some pods and the two on the middle shelves are phytoplankton to feed to the brine shrimp which will feed the seahorse fry so this is my little setup that i've been working on got it together uh, see how it goes so this is still amazing to me i you know see it pretty often they do have these pretty regular but it's it's still just amazing to me to watch this happen and then once uh they were born i took my turkey baster and uh pulled them out of the big tank and put them in the 10 gallon tank that's half filled so here it is a little setup going uh, got some fake plants a uh, little zip tie chain set up uh, that's pretty cool uh, couldn't get a video but uh, did get a picture of it that was clear the, the little guys hanging on the zip ties that was pretty neat but I'm not really sure how many they are I'm guessing you know around a hundred I got kind of excited and uh, lost count uh, so you know this is my first time I am really excited and I am trying my best to, to, to raise them and see you know how successful I can be uh, hopefully it'll turn out well I also got a little mini fridge I set up in the pantry to to hold all my food, uh, the frozen food, the phytoplankton, uh, the pods that uh, you know I'm splitting up trying to culture them, uh, you know get it out of the refrigerator and make the wife happy. So this is everything set up. Uh, hopefully I can be successful. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated on how it's going. If you like this video give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of it hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you on the next one.